So this is going to be problem 76 from the 2012 AP Calc AB exam. This is the first question on the calculator multiple choice section. Calculator is not really needed for this one. You'll notice that about a lot of the, the multiple choice questions that you encounter in that section. Uh, but if you check out what we have access to, we have this graph of F. <clears throat> We've got these points along the x-axis here labeled, right? Not really specified with specific values, just A, B, C, D, E. And then we're told that the graph of F is shown in the figure above. Yeah, we already know that. For which of the following values of X is F prime of X positive and increasing? So the one mistake that I would worry about people making with this is, is assuming that they were being asked a question about this graph. You're not. You're being asked a question about the derivative of this graph, but you're going to have to use the graph of the function in order to produce the result. <clears throat> So when I see the end of the question here, when is F prime positive? Well, I know that F prime represents the slope of F, right? So F prime of X is going to be greater than zero when I have a positive slope on F of X. We've got a negative slope on this section from A to B. We do have a positive slope from B to just a little bit beyond C, uh, back to a negative slope to just beyond D, and then back to a positive slope here. So, so just using that logic we've got it narrowed down to i think two options we can eliminate option a we can eliminate option d right because f prime is negative at a f prime is negative at d due to the negative slope f prime is actually undefined at b uh, we have a cusp on this graph at point b the slope changes instantly from one value to another without crossing all the values in between so B is not a spot where the derivative is positive. So we've got it narrowed down to, to two options just by using that logic. Now we have to make sure we get the appropriate value picked from here. So F prime is increasing when its derivative is positive. The derivative of F prime is F double prime. So we need to know when F double prime is greater than zero. On a function, what tells you values of the second derivative of it? Well, concavity does. So a function is concave up anywhere where its second derivative is positive. Therefore, to determine where the second derivative is positive, we're going to have to look for where this function, which we have access to the graph of, is concave up. So we've got it narrowed down to, to C and E. Uh, C, we are not concave up. We are cupped downward right here. Uh, our graph is increasing, but it's increasing at a decreasing rate. Here's the spot right here at E that satisfies everything that we're looking for because our function has a positive slope and that slope is increasing as we progress through point E. So we are looking at being positively sloped and concave up at point E.